Hello and welcome. Today's lesson is going to be about multiple representations of relations. Our ob objective today is we will represent relations using multiple representations. So in these um, in these examples, we are going to write this relation right here, the order pair, into a table of points, into a graph, and a mapping. All these four are different types of representations. So in this problem, I'm giving one form of representation, which in this case is the order pairs, and I'm going to translate that into a table, and then to a graph, and then to a mapping. So let's see how it goes. So I start by transferring this information into the table. Remember the first number is X and the second number is Y. So I'm gonna transfer this by writing two, negative four, negative one, three, four, two, and negative three, zero. All right, now that we have a table, we can also write this relation into a graph by using what we learned in the previous lesson of plotting points. So remember, you start at the origin, and the first number is two, so I move two to the right, and then I go down one, two, three, four, and that's my first point right here. Now I'm gonna do negative three, one. So I go to the left, one, and then one, two, three, and that's my second point. Now I'm gonna do the third point, which is positive four. So one, two, three, four, and the second number is two. So positive two goes one, two. And then my last point is negative three, zero. So negative three means to the left, three, one, two, three. And then I stay there because my second number is zero. All right, now I'm going to do the mapping. In order to do a good mapping, you need to put the numbers in order. So the domain is the X values. So right here, I'm gonna put the X values and the range is the Y values. So I need also to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So when I look over here, my smallest number is negative three. So I write negative three. Then my second smallest will be negative one. And then my next uh, smallest number would be two. And then we have the last number, which is four. Now I'm gonna look at the Y values and I'm gonna write them in numerical order from least to greatest. Starting with the smallest, which is negative four. Then after negative four comes zero. And then two and then three. Now that I have these numbers, now I'm going to connect them according to the relation. That's why they're called relation because the number X relates to another number Y. So in this case here, number two relates to negative four. So two relates to four. Then we have negative one relates to three. So negative one relates to three. And then we have four relates to two. So four relates to two. And the last one, negative three relates to zero. And there we go. We started out with a, a list of order pairs. We transform that into a table. Then we change that into a graph. And then we change that into a mapping. So in other words, we represented a relation using multiple representations. All right, let's go to the next example. In this next example, I am giving a table and I need to write the list of order pairs, the graph, and the mapping. So let's go ahead and do it. To do the list of order pairs, I start with a curly bracket, open parentheses, and my first pair of numbers is my first order pair. So it'd be negative four comma two, close parentheses, then a comma, 
And then let's do the next order pair, which is negative one comma five. And since I don't have a space here, I'm gonna write over here underneath. And my next pair is one comma four, comma, and the next pair is three comma negative one. And then I close parentheses. Now that I have that, let's go ahead and plot this in the coordinate plane. So negative four, two is my first number or my, net, my first uh, point. So it'll be one, two, three, four, and then up to. Then the next pair will be negative one comma five. So negative one to the left, and then one, two, three, four, five, up. The next one is positive one, so positive one to the right. One, two, three, four, up. And then the last one is three, negative one. So positive three goes to the right, three, and then down one. And there we go, we have the four points. Now we're gonna do the domain in the range for the mapping. So remember to write in numerical order, starting with the smallest to the greatest. And it so happened that right here, the X values are in order. So all I have to do is go ahead and copy. So B negative four is the smallest, followed by negative one, followed by one, and followed by three. On the Y values, we need to put them in order. The smallest number is negative one. Then the next number would be two. So let's go over here and write two. And the next one would be four and five. Once you have the X values in order and the Y values in order, you can draw the lines representing the relation. So negative four connects to two. Negative one connects to five. One connects to four. And then three connects to negative one. So there we go. We represented this table in multiple representations. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one, I, am, I start off with a graph and I need to represent that as a list of order pairs, as a table, and as a mapping. No problem. Let's start with the first point right here. My first point here, if you remember, we learned how to identify points. So to the left, one, two, three. So this would be negative three. Then I'm gonna go up, one, two, three. Then I'm gonna choose another point. And then I'm go from the origin, negative one to the left, and then down two would be negative two. So negative one to the left and negative two down. Let's go ahead and pick another point right here. So then I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two. So three comma two or three, two. And the last one, start at the origin. I go one, two, three, and then down one. So three, negative one. There we go. So now I have my table. Now to write the list of order pairs, it's pretty easy. I start with the curly bracket and I copy each pair inside parentheses. So let's go ahead and copy the first pair, which is negative three comma three, comma. Then it'll be negative one comma negative two. And since I have no space here, I'm gonna go here on the next line. And this would be three comma two. And then this would be three comma negative one. Very well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do my mapping. So remember that we need to write in numerical order starting with the smallest and negative three happens to be the smallest. Then here I have negative one, whoops negative one, 
And the next one is three. But if you notice right here, three happens twice. Well, you don't have to write twice over here. You just write one time. Okay? And then let's put these numbers in order, starting with the smallest, which would be negative two, followed by my negative one, followed by positive two, and at the end, we get the positive three. Now, let's draw the lines that represent the relations. Negative three relates to three. So connect negative three with three. And then we have negative one relates to negative two. So we'll connect that. Then we have three connects to two. And three connects to negative one. So right there from three, we're gonna draw two lines. So there's two relationships right there with the number three for the X. So there we go. Now we have the multiple representations of this graph. Let's go on to the last and final example. In this final example, I have a mapping. First thing I would do is I would transfer this information into my table. So the way I like to do is I copy the negative three and then I follow the line to see who does negative three relate to. It relates to four. So I write it right there, negative three, four. Then I go on to the next line, which is negative one relates to negative one. So then I'll write it right there, negative one relates to negative one. Then I go down over here, I have zero relating to negative two. And the last one is two relates to negative one. So two relates to negative one. Now with that, I can write my list of order pairs, starting with the curly bracket. So this would be negative three comma four. And then this would be negative one comma negative one. Then I'm gonna continue down here. I have open parenthesis zero, negative two comma, I have two comma negative one, and I close parentheses. Last thing is to draw the graph. So let's go ahead and do that. We start at the origin and we count one, two, three to the left, one, two, three, four, up. So that will be my first point. Then the next one I'll go one to the left and then one down. The next point is zero, negative two. Remember zero means I don't go to the right nor left, I stay there. And negative two means I go down two units. So there we go, my last next point there. And my final point is two, negative one. So I start at the origin and I go one, two to the left and then down one. And there we go, that's my representations of this relation that started out with a mapping. So today, our objective was we will represent, represent relations using multiple representations, and that's exactly what we did. We started out with one specific representation and we wrote a relation in the other three possible representations. So multiple, many representations. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day. Bye-bye.